Hi everybody, I want to demonstrate um, something about legends that I think you will find helpful and interesting. Uh, I'm just setting up one of the world's ugliest, most basic legends. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time setting up any of the details. I'm just going to plunk in the things that I want here. Now, the key to this is you need to get these edited first. You need to get your symbology and all of the layer names edited the way you want them to be first. For example, we don't want underscores and we want capital letters. Um, no jargon, things spelled correctly, etc. So we would do that for all of these first. But this has been grouped and so if I right click on my legend with it selected, I can, um, I can convert to graphics first and then I can ungroup them and that turns them into individual items. So now I might want my skunk sightings right up front and oops, I wanted this to be first. Um, you know, maybe you're not paying a lot of attention and you're kind of just getting them in the right order. You can um, control, click them all, and um, right click and go to align and get them all in alignment. Um, there's ways to set the same spacing between them. You know, just again, get in there and, and play with these things. The nudge, align, order, distribute, um, they, they're going to behave um, like you'd expect them to. You have the same options in, in PowerPoint and Word, so I'm sure you're familiar with these to a certain extent. Um, but you can, you know, you can, not that you would ever want to do this, but what if you did have some kind of uh, entity that you were trying to compose around, or if you had a river that you were, um, you know, labeling segments of, maybe it helps to have this kind of mimic the direction of the river. There are reasons you might want to mess around with this a little bit. Now, um, you can then grab the whole thing and regroup them so that you've got one movable item and you don't um, have to mess around with that. The legend title, um, if I go in here and ungroup again, the legend, um, the size of that you can handle. Oops, I've got everything selected. So again, using the draw toolbar, um, whoopsie, I just unbolded it. I can make it bigger. So I can handle those things a little differently. The legend, you can change the text of. You can't change the text here. Um, so these guys, you need to get labeled correctly, as far as I know. If I go in here, or maybe it's because they're still grouped. Hang on. So if I go in here, I can further ungroup it, and then maybe I can affect this text. Sure enough, there you go. So you can, in fact. You don't have to do it first. You just have to make sure you're ungrouping everything and then selecting to regroup uh, and then going from there. So I guess that helps as well if you want to put some spaces in here you can go in and do it um, you know within the 800 windows of, of arc or um, you can you know spread these out a little bit this way and then just use your alignment tool to get everything um, aligned again. Right click, align left and um, we'd want to bring this guy back into line and we could either ungroup these or that looks pretty good um, but I'm sure there's a way to center align this horizontally too um, okay so I hope that helps